Hi everyone, so I'm going to be going over a fourth example on new states and we're going to be using um, if and else statements within a function in order to handle multiple clicks. So let me just set up the basic template for example 4. I'm going to import a use state from React. And what I want to do is just set up the um, function right now. Now what I want to do is set up a use state here inside the function and I'll set it up as um, number and set number. And what I want to do inside here is I need to set up some buttons in here so I'm going to set up the button template and I'm going to say increment and what I want to do for this button is I want to do an on click so on click I want to do some sign some kind of handling um, to call a function and then do the clicks handle click and I'm going to pass in the value of true and I'm going to save that and I'm going to copy this, make a duplicate, and I'm going to make this decrement. And I'm going to change the handle click now to false here. And what I want to do with this handle click is I need to make an actual function that will be called once this button is clicked. So what I'll do is I could set up a function right here called handle click and I'm going to pass in some sort of variables called um, change and if change so if it is true then go in here and I'm going to change set number to another value now before we just did number plus one but it's not going to work um, just like that um, I'll show you why and I'll do an else statement so set number and this is number minus one. So I'll just do this for right now and let me just run this in the terminal. And I'm gonna go to localhost 3000 here. And what I have to do is I have to go to use states example four. And we can see here we got the increment and decrement, but I still need to um, show the actual number values here on screen. So I'm going to put those curly brace brackets and put number so I could see what's going on here. And what we have here is when I go back to the browser, you can see we have the initial start value of zero. And if I increment it, it increases by one. If I decrement it, it decreases by one. So it's working okay right now, but I want to, let's say, decrease by 3 and increase by 3. So if I do this, I'll show you what the, pro I'll show you what the problem will arise um, later on, but I'll set it up just how it would have been normally set up. And if I just set this up right now, I have to put an extra a curly brace bracket because I want to put it on the next line. And... I want to do something here. So for handle click, I'm going to call it three times right here. So then it increment increments by three. And then here I'll call decrement as well. I'll make another button for decrement. And I'm going to put the curly brace again around this entire area. And then I'm going to put this on a brand new line here. And I'll call handle click the value of false passed in there three times and I'll say decrement by three 
So you can see here that we can, it's a button that sets up that will increase by 3 and also decrease by 3. But there's going to be a problem if I save this and try to run it now in the browser. You can see here if I click the regular increment, it increases by 1. And now if I try to increment by 3, you can see here that's still increasing only by 1. That's because it's having issues like render issues. Um, it can't think about all these different changes happening all at once um, when we're passing it in normally or just setting up it up as just a set number and number plus one. It, it just renders so quickly that it doesn't have enough time to understand to, ha to do all these things. So all we need to do is we need to actually change this inside the set number and we need to say number and then the arrow sign saying whatever number is currently take that number and increase by one and that way whatever happens if we increment it like here if we want to increment it by three times it'll automatically know to always check what default or what current number state it's at and then always add on to it so if I do number here as well for the else part arrow sign number minus one now it's going to always double check what the base number is and then always minus by one on top of it so if I save it now and I go back to the browser I'm just gonna refresh it so we start at zero right here and I will see increment see increases by one now I'll say increments by three and you can see here that the numbers are increasing by three and if I click on decrement you can see it's decreasing by one right now and if I decrement by three you can see now that it's decreasing by three so that's how you go belt if you want to change number values not just by one um, but by multiple values greater than one or less than one you'll have to set up the code in a specific way with these arrow functions in order to do the right manipulation.